so three stages down in a lunchtime service in a small Otago settlement called Lawrence. In regards to the standings, it's a Ford top three with Regan Ross leading the way. We've had a good run really. Um, the fast stuff, I've seemed to go quite good on these roads. 2014 was last time here and I went, went all right there, but no, it's good to know that you're on the pace. Had a couple of little mistakes and threw a couple of sort of well, I suppose a three-quarter spin at a junction and just got a bit wide, another one lost a lot of time. But yeah, we're pretty tight, but um, yeah, it's good to try and be there or thereabouts anyway. Estonian Marco Martin is 1.2 seconds behind Ross, but he did win the last morning stage, even though he had to swap intercom systems halfway through the run. The first stage was a bit surprising, how fast it was. <laughs> it was uh, like all this uh, shakedown, it's been quite um, narrow and twisted road, so it was a bit of a shock how fast we had to go. And uh, on the third one we had a bit of an uh, intercom problem, so we had to swap over and uh, mess around with it in, in the middle of the stage, so lost quite a bit of time there, but other than that it's, it's getting better. Marcus Van Klink is chasing the Fords hard in his RX-7, and this is the swan song event for his classic rotary. It's been a good morning, but uh, man, the pace is hot. We're, 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 I think we're sitting fourth, but uh, hey, long way to go yet. And we know, you know it always comes down to tomorrow, really, but we'll try and keep with the front runners. But, you yeah, know, so far so good. And joining Clink in the RX7 camp is John Silcock, currently sixth overall in the classic section. However, his focus is on the NZRC Championship. Just need to be a bit braver on that fast public road stuff, but I'm a bit of a forestry man, so hopefully in the next couple. But we're looking at the big picture rather than just the Otago Classic. We're uh, trying to do well in NZRC this year. It hasn't been plain sailing for everyone though, like Melbourne competitor Grant Walker, who had a close chat with a large post. I'd like to give you a good excuse, but what about if I just cut the corner? That would be the best one. Yeah, unfortunately I just took it too tight and it was a post and just clipped it. Sticking with Australians, their multiple champion Simon Evans is coming to terms with the grip and currently sitting in seventh. Those roads, the heart in the throat, like when you come over those crests and it's just making sure it is a fast right two and a half after that crest. And the moment when you come in you start sliding and you're going, oh my god, I hope this is real. <laughs> When you have 50 cars in the field, you are going to get a wide range of competitors, from the vastly experienced semi-pro teams to the more family-based ones like West Coaster Eddie Gray. Yeah, all families all here. It's the first time I take a rally. I've done a little bit of rallying. I didn't take it up to 52, uh, so I've been in it for about four or five years now. So it's yeah, it's good. It's good to have the whole family out here and a bit of fun, and that's what's about for me. So three stages remain before the teams head back to the city for this afternoon's Tarmac Superstage.